Congratulations, class of 2020. It's amazing to me that graduation time is here for you guys. I've so enjoyed getting to know you over these four or six years. Some of you I've had the pleasure of teaching for multiple years, seventh grade, eighth grade, ninth grade, 10th grade. I'm really gonna miss you guys, um, but I really hope that you stay in touch and that this is goodbye for now, but not for long. Take care. Hi seniors, I wanted to say congratulations on your graduation. It's been an incredible year. It's been very admiring to see you guys all push through this quarantine and to online teaching. You have been an inspiration for all the other grades. I really have a pleasure to have you guys as a sophomore dean and I see your growth all the way to the senior year. I wish you the best in the rest of your life. This was just a little parenthesis and I know that you guys will do amazing things coming up. And now that we're getting up to the summer, let's go and get ready for the summer. Now we're ready for the summer. Now you have to make sure that you enjoy your summer. You deserve it after this year. I'm gonna miss you and I wish you the best through life. So please remember to come back and visit us to prep or here in Puerto Rico. See you soon. Hi physicists. Well, first let me say congratulations to the whole class of 2020. You've accomplished so much and over these past couple years, it's been really impressive to see the leaders you've become. In particular, those students who were on the China trip last year, you made it as special as it was for the students on the trip, but also the faculty. And then finally, a big thank you to those sophomore physicists from two years ago, the first ones to go through the program. It was fun, it was exciting, it was productive, and that's all because of you. And you also showed what it meant to be a part of the prep community, so thank you. All the best to the whole class moving forward, and I can't wait to see what you're able to do in the future. Hello, dear graduating class of 2020. I wanted to take this opportunity to let you know how much I've enjoyed getting to know you over these years and also working with you from the beginnings of seventh grade general music, eighth grade girls and boys chorus, the Flint Ridge Singers and the Vocal Ensemble, and also as your musical director in our annual spring productions of the musical. The best way I know how to offer you a gift is through the gift of song. I really want to thank this class, this class of 2020. You all have so enriched my life, and for this I cherish you dearly. Congratulations, class of 2020. I wish you all the best. Congratulations, class of 2020. You guys will hold a special place in my heart because you were the first class that I did JPD with, and I will always think of you so fondly coming out on stage together in Norris Auditorium singing Piano Man. So thank you for that memory and for many more. Congratulations, good luck. Hey seniors, Mrs. Hare here. Just want to congratulate you on your graduation. 
I know none of you envisioned this being the way your senior year would end, nor is this the way any of us wanted it to end for you. But please don't linger on how it's ending. You each have left a fabulous mark on prep. It's time to look forward to the future and new beginnings. Now that you've left your mark here, go out into that world. It awaits for you to leave your next mark out there. I'll miss you. Congratulations. Take care. Hey, class of 2020, it's Mrs. Eldridge. Are you ready for your library quiz? Oh, don't worry, you only need to get one right to pass. Okay, here we go. Have you ever fallen asleep in the library? Have you ever eaten in the library? Have you ever been caught eating in the library? Have you ever studied really hard in the library? Have you ever not? Class of 2020, you've got grit, style, and everything you need to be the leaders of our next phase. You, all of you, have seriously illuminated the library with your presence. Take care now. Okay, oh, how'd you do on the quiz? I know this is not how you imagined the end of your senior year would play out. I know you wish you had one last moment on stage, one final time to say goodbye. But I also know all three of you, and I know that this small moment in time does not define you. It does not erase all of your amazing work, your artistic spirit, and those magical moments you created in the classroom with us and on the stage. Don't let something out of your control take control because you have earned every second of your time here. I am so very proud of you and for all you have accomplished and all you have given to us. Anna Netrebko, who is a famous opera singer, has said, applause, it is very nice, of course, but when you're giving and creating, and then there is that silence of everyone sitting there, listening, waiting, that is great. And so, although this time you may not hear the applause of a packed auditorium, there is still that eager silence. We are all waiting to see what amazing things you will do, the obstacles you will overcome, and the joy you will find on the other side. Congratulations, seniors. Hello, detectives. It is with both joy and sadness that I congratulate you on your advancement to new crime-solving careers. I have been continually impressed with your quick thinking, determination, and cooperation over the course of this year. We'll miss you here at the precinct, but I have no doubt that you're going to bust the world's cases wide open as you move on to new adventures. Good luck! Hi seniors! Boy, what an exciting year it's been for all of us, for this family, and for you guys. You guys have dealt with so many challenges in the past 12 months, and you've done so with grit, thoughtfulness, and a sense of humor. So no matter what the future holds in store for you all, whether it's developing the future of gaming, being a full-time podcast host or a boat engineer, or trying cases in the courtroom, I just want you to remember that sucking at something is just the first step in becoming sort of good at something. So with that, we'll miss you. We love you guys. Good luck and congratulations. Congrats, seniors.
Hi, class of 2020, from my home uh, to yours. These are uh, somewhat unusual times. Uh, there are many things we don't know or understand or have answers for. Uh, but one thing I am certain of is that uh, you are much stronger than any virus. Uh, in a few weeks, we would normally be going on the senior trip where you would participate in many activities and concluding with a pine cone ceremony. And uh, while we can't be together for that, uh, I wanted you to know that I was there with you as I am now. Uh, you were always the best part of my teaching and years at PrEP. I look forward to visiting with you outside the classroom, being with you in the classroom, and uh, you uh, lifted my spirits and made my day many, many times over, and I want to personally thank you for that. In uh, some thoughts for uh, as you go forward uh, in life, uh, uh, try to be kind to others and yourself. Try to lend a helping hand, lift the spirits, and lighten the load of others. Uh, don't lose your sense of humor. In your career, find something you love to do and the people that you work with. They're both important. Make sure you have both. Work hard and play hard. And, uh, and finally, I would like to say this pine cone is for you with all my love. Hi, class of 2020. Congratulations. If you're watching this and thinking, who is this guy? It's because I'm a sub. Um, and also because my beard is so much longer than it probably was when you saw me last. I've really let it go during quarantine. Um, but congratulations. You've accomplished a lot. You've accumulated a ton of success. And frankly, you deserve better conditions to celebrate those successes than you've been dealt. Uh, it's unfair. I wish you could celebrate together and my heart goes out to you. Positive vibes your way. Um, I hope you find some joy and some peace in this time. You deserve it. I'm thinking of a lot of you and a lot of fond memories I have with all of you as I'm making this message. Best of luck, best wishes, and hope to see you again IRL someday. This is Mrs. Ursetti. I'm thinking about you. I'm proud of you. I think you are amazing that you have done this hard, hard thing really well. And I'm excited for your future because I know there's something built in you that you will always be for your good. So blessings, you guys. I will miss you. Hey class of 2020, um, I just wanna be one more person saying congratulations to you on this day. Uh, I don't know everybody in the senior class very well, but I do know that you have brought a really warm, generous, open-hearted energy that is the energy that makes me love coming to work here. And I know that from the seventh grade on up, people have been looking up to you. Uh, I wanna send particular love to my AP Gov students. It has been such an honor and also a lot of fun to get to spend this 
really wild year with you thinking about what this country is all about and what the future is. Let me also take a second to make a plug to everybody to get registered to vote. Uh, 2020 is also going to be an election year. And whether you're traveling across the country for college or you're literally staying where you are right now, this is your first chance to vote. And so I hope that you'll go to rockthevote.org or any other website that helps you with that to make it happen. Um, and come back and visit us soon. We're going to miss you.